all good things uh, take time. So thank you for your patience. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed some of those images that you shared with us uh, and that one of our grade 12 students put together. It's, uh, it's a lovely way to, to welcome everybody to 2022 graduation ceremony. We've been doing that now for 12 years and it's a really nice tradition and hopefully that will continue. Ladies and gentlemen, if I could ask you to all be upstanding as we begin the official service with the entrance of both teachers and graduates. If you could also remain standing until the end of the Korean National Anthem.
please be seated. Welcome, graduates, parents, family members, and honoured guests to the International School of Busan's 2022 graduation ceremony. My name is Al Rowland, and I'm the secondary school principal, and it's my great pleasure to be master of ceremonies this afternoon. Thank you for attending our graduation ceremony. Graduating from the International School of Busan is a special honour, and we are privileged to be witness to such an important event. Seeing graduates, parents and staff here today is a testament to the achievements of the graduates and the support they have received. This is truly a celebration for all. And to our graduates, may today, your graduation day, be a special memory for each of you and serve as the beginning of many celebrations and accomplishments in the future. I would now like to invite Mr. McCloskey, Head of School, for his opening remarks. A warm welcome to students, graduates, families, and of course to my colleagues. Class of 2022, the day has finally come. You faced many challenges over the past couple of years, but you've risen to face those challenges and have worked hard to be successful in your final year at school. Today, you sit proudly in front of your teachers, friends, and family. Today, you will graduate from our school take flight into the world and leave us behind. Before you graduate, take flight and leave us, I would like you to do one thing for me. Stop, take a few minutes to look around and savour the moment. You only graduate from high school once in a lifetime. As you look at the auditorium in front of you, take some time to think about your parents. For them, this is a bittersweet moment. Graduation always makes me think of an expression credited to Henry Ward Beecher. There are only two lasting bequests we can hope to give our children. One of these is roots, the other is wings. We need to give our children roots and wings. I think this phrase sums up perfectly the role of what good parents do. They give their children roots, a sense of family, belonging, security, and the knowledge, skills, and attributes to have the autonomy to take flight and become productive, fulfilled, and successful, happy adults. For the past 18 years, your parents have been helping you to build your foundations, your roots, and your wings, so that you can take flight. Our role at ISB has been to work in partnership with your parents to support that process, to help give you those roots and wings. As you move on from our school, it's my sincere hope that you take with you some of the attributes that we value here at ISB. Firstly, diversity. I hope that your experience at our school has taught you that diversity is something that should be valued and respected. Diversity broadens our thinking and helps us to make better collective decisions. Knowing that other people with their differences can also be right is a valuable attitude to possess. And as Mahatma Gandhi said, our ability to reach unity in diversity 
will be the beauty and the test of our civilization. Secondly, caring. We hope that we have equipped you with the ability to take care of your physical, social, and emotional well-being. We also hope that you have the empathy and compassion to be caring enough to support and lift up those around you. Knowledgeable. We hope that you are equipped with the skills needed to interpret and analyze information effectively in order to be well informed and make balanced rational decisions based on evidence and credible research. Open-minded. We hope that we've taught you to respect and value the languages, cultures, traditions, and personal histories of all members in your communities, and that you know how to listen for understanding, not just to respond. Principled. We hope that our school community has demonstrated to you how important it is to strive to be honest, fair, and to respect the dignity and the rights of everyone. And finally, as you prepare to take flight, we hope you leave ISB as global citizens. We want you to remain committed to understanding the multiple perspectives of local and global events and issues. We hope you apply your learning in the real world. Engage in meaningful service learning and challenge ignorance, intolerance, and injustice wherever you encounter it. I hope that the roots and wings that your parents have given you lead you to fulfillment, happiness, meaning, and purpose in your lives. And one final thing from me before we proceed. Don't forget that this is a bittersweet moment for your parents. Don't forget to acknowledge their role in your success. Thank them for your roots and wings. And don't forget to keep in touch with us here at ISB after you embark on new adventures. Class of 22, from me, congratulations. Thank you, Mr. McCloskey. Each year, the Grade 12 class votes to select a student or students to speak on their behalf during the commencement address. This year's Class of 2022 commencement address will be given by two students. I'll call on Jinook and Yena to come and deliver your commencement address. Thank you, Mr. Roland. My name is James, and this is Yana. We are honored to speak on behalf of today's graduates. Thank you to our friends, teachers, parents, and school staff who have supported our long journey. Congratulations, graduates. We have reached a great milestone. After we step out of that door, pomps and circumstances playing, we will no longer be graduates. Oh, we will now be graduates no longer baby birds chased by Ms. Shenstone. The past few years have been some of the most exhausting yet most rewarding experiences of our lives. First of all, I would like to apologize to all the teachers who had to write our names on the DP room whiteboard every single day for every single subject. I believe that deep down, as much as Ms. Shenstone loved spending time with us until 5 p.m., chasing Justin and David for their EEs a month after they were due. It was these experiences that shaped the unique culture of our class. Justin, how did it feel when you erased your name off the board for every single subject, including CAS, TOK, and EE? Indeed. Our classes had the most special culture in many ways. I'll be honest. Our class was famous among teachers for having overdue assignments nearly every day. 
Many of us always cried to Miss GJ about the overwhelming workloads, even though it was really our fault for not getting things done on time. We were unable to draw market equilibriums. Singje was always being demoralized while learning about kidneys. And it was so obvious we weren't doing enough work during SL release sessions. Who in the right mind would, not, would want to teach this class, Yana? So as much as we complained, we have also have deep gratitude for all our supportive teachers and figures, especially for dealing with our class. Ms. Khalife, do you remember until the week before IB exams, chasing Jinhun for his IA due months ago? Ms. Vaughn, do you remember us analyzing every single word of the mark, ex of the mark scheme for an extra point? And Ms. Mickey, dealing with us since grade six. Even until the last exam, we had those that were late for the IB world exams. Tragic. Yet somehow we're here, even after all those into my office moments. Feel proud, graduates. The miserable years of IB have tested our true potential and the growth of our abilities. That's given us a chance to analyze our habits, showing the shortcomings that we must fix in the future and the positives we must maintain and never forget. We have seen through our procrastination how to share and empathize with our hardships and our ability to genuinely celebrate others' achievements. Though we may have thought we were incapable of a task, in reality, it was just our mentality holding us back. The IB and school as a whole have taught us how to be more than mere students. As Ms. Shenstone said, no one is going to chase after you once you have left school. So be satisfied with not the accomplishments and results, but the journey that we took to defeat our hardships, for it is such experiences that will help us through future challenges. Be proud of our shortcomings, as once we know, we can mend. Remember how we overcame challenges, trying to submit our IAs, being here on time, and finishing our CAS experiences, as it will help to conquer. Don't forget to use your prefrontal cortex to make wise decisions and suppress triggering your amygdala to prevent activating your stress response. So congratulations, class of 2022. After eagerly counting down the number of days until graduation, we are finally here. Moments away from switching our tassels from right to left. So enjoy your precious time and cherish the memories you've made in the past years. We hope that we all stay in contact and wish you the very best in your unseen paths. Thank you. Thank you, Yenna. Thank you, uh, James. Each year, the salutatorian uh, is awarded, and it's an award given to student or students who have been judged to be the second most outstanding academic record in grade 12. This year, we have two salutatorians. The first one is Rafaela de, uh, de Oliveira, and the other one is Herni Kim. Can you join with me congratulating those two? I'll now ask Mr. Jay if he could uh, present the first one to Raffaella. Raffaella. Mr. Jay again, <laughs> if I could get you to present to Herni Kim. The valedictorian is an award given to the most outstanding academic student in grade 12. It is my pleasure to announce that the valedictorian for 2022 is Jun Uk Jong. Congratulations, Jun Uk. I would now like, like to invite Janook, as just as he's being seated, to come up and deliver his speech. <laughs> well done, James.
Thank you. I would like to start off today by thanking everyone who has made this moment possible. Thank you, teachers, who have pushed us to do our very best, supporting us even until the last moment with their all. Thank you, school staff, for the vital role of maintaining this community we call home. And thank you to my family for being the greatest supporting figures I could have ever asked for. Finally, congratulations, my friends, the class of 2022. When I first came to this school as a second grader, I remember watching the valedictorian from way back there, standing in this position, doing a speech like I am doing today. I mean, who doesn't idolize valedictorians? They look so cool and so intellectual, right? Yet, as I stand here today, all those feelings of excitement and pride, they're overwhelmed with a sense of reflection. Why? I know for a fact that the majority of students here, including me, have eagerly waited for this moment, counting down those days on the DP room whiteboard. Yet as I talked to my peers at the dinner a few days ago, looking back at our journey, I thought it would feel like getting the same answer for a math paper like as another person, or the relief when I found out that my classmates were also just beginning to study for their biology exam at 3 a.m. in the morning. But no, though we were discussing separate futures there, our discussions always connected to our past. Do we just feel bittersweet that we're graduating? Nostalgic for the IB? Maybe. But if you talked to our grade last December, you know that nostalgia was something that we thought we'd never feel for the IB. So I thought, what is connecting us all together? What will be the legacy of one another, regardless of where we go in the future? Our academic journey hasn't been the easiest. In fact, some students even made a tally to see how many times they cried over a school year. And that's a real story. But as many times we cried, we have also laughed. And as many hardships came our way, we have also overcome and we, we have learned together throughout these valuable years. In hindsight, because we suffered together, we can also feel joy together at this moment. The lessons we learned from this journey weren't defined from one significant point. No, it wasn't Ms. Shenstone's teddy bear in English that made us remember to say represents, not symbolizes. All of this knowledge, not just academic, but human and social, have been a culmination of the experiences as comrades, holding each other to make it to the finish line. Though some in our grade may not want to admit it, it is obvious that our future our personalities, our paths have either directly or indirectly been influenced and shaped by the hardships, the lessons learned together at ISB. So the fact that we stand here today in a ceremony celebrating and looking back at our past achievements, our overcoming of failures, signifies that regardless of where we're planning to go, wherever the next stop in our diverse adventures may be, my friends and I will remember the shared lessons the culmination of the experiences that will always connect us to one another in the future and will always be inside of us. And though there will be great perils in the future, remember friends that we can and will overcome like we have at ISB. And so, though I do feel intellectual and cool in this position, it is really nothing without the past I shared with my friends and this class. I now conclude my speech on why we will truly always be the coolest class this school ever gets. Thank you. Thank you, James. Each year, a member of the teaching staff speaks at the graduation ceremony. This particular teacher works with every child to ensure they achieve their very best in both grade 11 and grade 12. She is absolutely thoroughly dedicated to the success of all students in her care. This year, I'd like to invite Ms Shenstone to the stage to speak.
Thank you, Mr. Rowland. Good afternoon, graduates, Mr. Jay, Mr. McCloskey, Mr. Rowland, teachers and parents. Every one of my students knows that I love a good metaphor. And today's metaphor is of a train, a fast train, yet one that takes two years to reach its destination. A train that is easy to get on, but harder to get off. A train that travels up and down mountains and through sunshine and snow. It has one engine and nine carriages. Yes, this train is the class of 2022 Express. So who is on this train? There is the driver, the International Baccalaureate, with a long list of rules that all passengers must comply with. The engine, which is the teachers, who provide the power and momentum for the journey. The students, who are travellers eager to reach their destination. And finally, the parents, who are on the platforms waving and shouting encouragement as we pass by. So where do travellers on this train spend their time? Some hang out in the dining car at every opportunity, eating, chatting and having a wonderful time. This carriage is also known as the DP room, and some passengers spend a lot of time there, even after school on many occasions. Others spend time in the sleeping car, far too much time in the sleeping car, even when the sun is shining outside and the school bell is ringing. Still other passengers spend most of their time in the seats of the seven classroom carriages, tray table down, laptop charging, working away. Every so often, the train stops and we all hop out to stretch our legs. There is the extended essay station, where the station master, Mr G, waited a long time to collect all those tickets. Then there is TOK station, where we also delayed for a little while until everyone got back on board. And finally, after a long climb, we pull into the terminus, the final exams. Some took a little time to get off the train and actually make it to the exams on time, while others were lined up at the gate, clutching stationary bags and whispering strange phrases to themselves. And the journey is long, arduous, enriching, challenging. The train goes up steep inclines known as IA mountains and along straight stretches like Cassland. It goes joyfully down hills that cause excitement and joy with many celebrations and events along the way. It goes through snow and ice when IAs are due or when there are feelings of stress and pressure. It is warm on the train though and there is always someone there to support the passengers as we go through the journey together. So graduates, has the class of 2022 express train got you where you wanted to go? Did you travel well? What have you learned from your journey? Here are four ideas that I always hope our graduates will remember. Idea number one, everything we do is a choice. Everything we say is a choice. Every action we take is a choice. Even not making a choice is a choice. We have to be responsible for the choices we make and realise the impact they have on others. Idea number two, look out for challenges. Seek opportunities to do things that are just outside your comfort zone. Make each year different from the year before. And it is easier to achieve the long-term challenges if we make short-term goals. This is what can be learned from CAS. Idea number three, be kind. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. It is often said that we should not say things to others that we would not like said about ourselves, and that is true, but it also works the other way around. Don't say things to yourself that you would not say to someone else. Work on making your self-talk encouraging and positive, like, I am okay, and I can do this. It is amazing the difference being kind makes to the person who does it and the person who receives it. And finally, idea number four, recognise your privilege. You have been given a wonderful IB education. You haven't earned it, you have been given it. Make the most of it. You can speak more than one language. You have completed CAS and TOK, 
which helps you to understand how other people live and think. Use this learning to help yourself make good choices, to look for challenges and to understand and be kind. Use your privilege to enrich the lives of others and that is its own reward. At the end of each term, I remind the DP students to take care over the break. In fact, I am already 24 hours too late with the reminder this year, thanks to Leanne's adventure yesterday afternoon. This is the last time that I can do this for these students in front of me. Grade 12, look after yourselves. Remember that you are the most important thing in the life of someone else. And you are not important and loved by that person because of your diploma score or the university you get into or the profession that you enter. You are important and loved by that person because of the good human being that you are. And that's the part to take care of most of all. It's a big world out there and you need to know what your values are so that you have a guide to live by. Listen to others, but work out what you think is important. You are your own train driver now. You can choose the tracks you want to travel on and the people you want to travel with. All of us here at ISB hope that your next trip is fulfilling, successful and enjoyable. And please know that you leave the station with our best wishes. Thank you. Each year, as part of this ceremony, we announce the Male and Female Athletes of the Year, the Global Citizenship Award and the ISB Student Leadership Award. It is my pleasure now to ask Mr Zimmer to announce the winners of the prizes for 2022. Mr Zimmer. Right. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for, the official presentation. Oops. Sorry, Al, where am I at here? Al, where am I at here? Sorry, folks. Okay. Okay. I apologize, folks. Uh, the winner for Male Athlete of the Year is Phil Pibernet Park, grade 11. Phil, come on up. Phil. Female Athlete of the Year, Mathilde Capitan. And Global Citizenship Award, Noah Jerkovic. And finally, ISB Student Leadership Award, once again, Mathilde Capitan. Thank you, Mr. Zimmer. And now, for the moment that you have all been waiting for, the official presentation of the class of 2022. Mr. Jaya, as the secondary school principal and as a representative of the faculty of the International School of Busan, I'm honoured to present to you, as a representative of the Board of Governors, the graduating class of 2022. Each of these students have met the rigorous graduation requirements of this school and are entitled to receive an International School of Busan diploma dated the 24th of May, 2022. I would now ask Mr. Jaya to the microphone. Dear Mr. McCloskey, Mr. Rowland, faculty, parents, students, and honored guests, it is my honor and pleasure on behalf of the International School of Busan Board of Governors to accept the class of 2022 
and to confirm upon them their high school diplomas. Please join me in congratulating them. We'll now proceed to the presentation of diplomas to each member of the class of 2022. However, before I call Ms Johnson to the stage, Ms Johnson is our college counsellor who very quietly works behind the scenes to make things happen. She puts the students and their needs at the front of everything she does. GJ is a very special person to us. We are lucky to have her. Please join with me in thanking Ms. JJ Johnson. Thank you, Mr. Roland. Front wall. When your name is called, please walk up and receive your diploma. Leanne Be. And I would also like to thank all the teachers for the past two years, especially Mr. Geisvers and Ms. Mickey Lee. And I also want to congratulate uh, everyone in our class who endured the last two years together. 그리고 마지막으로 이제 오늘 와주신 엄마 포함해서 우리 할머니랑 할아버지 우리 가족 다 사랑하고 감사합니다. Song Je Be. So if you've been around me for long enough, uh, You've probably ran into me uh, expressing my eagerness to restart the IB from a younger grade so I can achieve top scores. As such, times I've spent at ISB, including the IB journey, weren't always a royal road. To be frank, I was sometimes being a, such a disappointment to myself, family, teachers, and fellow students. I am suddenly leaving behind some regrets. However, it is these regrets that always fuel me to better myself continually, and most importantly, uh, make me genuinely miss this school. Hence, uh, I would like to extend my sincere gratitude to all the comrades who have fought together and will share the glories with me today. So, uh, Ms. Ms. Vaughan, Mr. Johnson, Ms. Khalife, Ms. Mickey, Ms. Sophie, Ms. Shenson, uh, my idol, Mr. Zimmer, Mr. Roland, uh, all my peers and so on, uh, you guys have provided me the wings I needed to fly. Uh, Unji Bang. Oma Apa, Krigo, Harmony Harabaji, Chinan, Shivian Tuan, Onre Unjiga Ikikaji. 도와주셔서 정말 감사합니다. 부족한 저를 위해 항상 응원해 주시고 지지해서 어, 여기까지 올수 있었던 것 같아요. 대학 가서도 그리고 20, 30, 40 년이 지나서도 계속 자랑스러운 딸 그리고 손녀가 될수 있도록 노력할게요. 
Um, lastly, I would like to thank all the faculty members who helped me to get this diploma today. Um, I have to admit that Ivy was extremely hard and stressful, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to finish all my assignments without your help. Thank you. Mama, Appa, Sarangyeo. Mathilde Capitan. Um, first of all, I would like to thank all my teachers for supporting me and answering all my questions every day. A special thanks to Ms. Shenstone for dealing with our grade the most. And then also a special thanks to all my coaches for making the athletes I am today. And now my family. Thibaut, Alvan, Tancred, Grace, and Céline, merci d'avoir toujours été là pour moi et pour le cas. Même avec les 9000 km qui nous séparent. Papa et maman, je vous donne le plus gros merci. Papa, merci d'avoir toujours été là pour moi et répondu à mes questions. Maman, merci d'avoir toujours été là pour euh, mon soutien émotionnel. Je vous aime très fort, gros bisous. Yena Che. Thank you to all my teachers who have been there for me and supported me the past 12 years at ISB. Um, special thanks to Ms. Vaughn, Ms. Khalife, Ms. Mickey, and Mr. Wilson for basically watching me grow up in ISB since elementary. Thank you for literally everything up until this point. I seriously would not have been able to do it without you. Um, congratulations on your graduation, and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Rafaela de Oliveira. Um, todo dia que eu che quando eu chegava da escola tinha comida pronta, todo dia tinha café pronto na cama. Eu não ia ter conseguido terminar esses dois anos sem o suporte sem fim de vocês. Eu sei que às vezes eu sou meio chatinha e não gosto de conversar, mas vocês sempre perguntaram como meu dia foi e estavam pronto para ouvir. Eu quero dizer obrigada, mas essa palavra não consegue descrever o tanto que eu sou grata. Eu te amo. I also want to thank all my teachers tremendously because each and every one of you has helped me in ways beyond words can describe. Thank you for all the care, support, and listening throughout the two years. I know it's been very hard and long, but each and every one of you has made each day more special. So thank you. I am beyond grateful. Justin Huang. Uh, to the teachers and faculty members of this school, thank you so much for supporting me this past two years. It has allowed me to get this diploma today. And to my friends, whether that be my friends that I met in my elementary school or the friends I met during my peak of puberty, thank you so much for being with me and making me memorable memories that I won't forget for the next life. And to my family, excuse my Korean, that my parents have supported me a lot. To my sister who came all the way here from America, Thank you so much for being here, and your support and love has been a motivation for me to 
meet you in America, and I can't believe that day is coming soon. Thank you, and love you. I'm talking about. Jinook Jung. I would like to thank all faculty members, all the teachers like uh, Miss Khalife, Miss Mickey, uh, who supported me since I was a little kid, and all the other teachers. And I really couldn't have done this without you. Uh, 그리고 엄마, 아빠, 할아버지, 할머니, 그리고 예준이. 어, 여기까지 올 줄은 진짜 몰랐는데, 어, 정말 지금까지 믿어주시고 그, 도와주셔서 너무 감사하고 사랑합니다. Jerkovic. Uh, first of all, I wanted to thank all my teachers and staff of the school for uh, basically spending countless hours teaching and supporting me throughout the years but also um, making sure I, like spending a lot of time finding me and try to, making sure I submitted all my assignments and also being understanding when I had IAs that were uh, two weeks late and also giving up their uh, free time on after school on uh, weekends and also even on breaks so I could finish my extended essays and all my IAs. Mama, Tata, Lana, Hochubas, Possumno, Zahalati, the Seshas and April is Nemi Mogo, the Vicious School of Bezlas, Mama T. Sakidan, Naprish Dorochak, Ruchaki Vecheru, Ochusis Misobu, Operish Miodichu, Yopagash Miodichu, Ada Yohisto, Operish Sujip, Hose Ruchka, Pomajishmi, Katsum Tionochit Kuhat, the Scholu, Stayash. And I used to cousin Tujan Eli, so Zakuchimusobu, Titarish, and many homages and all boy of Sicham. A tata, Timu Vignatirish, they didn't vani, he pitsi clearer somnum, he now choose him a cock with a yadrim, Ostanish, Casson Avacher, the Pomager Samatritsama, Pomager Smith, the Poplin Calculator, Yakoponic at Prolum. Jako malo da jasno nešto pogrešio, kao kad smo rastavili onaj punjač za laptop i na kraju problem je bio adapter. Isto svaki vikend napriš večer sa toročak sa jajama. Isto Lana, ja znam da kad smo bili mlađi, ja sam te uvijek malo malo te tirao i isto sam zezao kao kad ti dajem šalicu vode umjesto čaše ili ti se bacim na tebe kad tata naglo skreni ili ti bacim tvoje čarape na tebe ili mamu ili tatu i znam i znam posle toga svega ti me uvijek voliš kao kad smo bili mali svaki put posle svačbe ti mi mi dala papirić i stavila ispod vrata koji bi imao lijepe slike i rekla bi da me još voliš i ja te isto uvijek volim ona i isto mama htio sam ti reći Da, sve vas volim. Isto sam ti cijel reći da sam našao vilin konjića danas i uhvatio sam ga i onda sam ga pustio vani. Hvala. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Second row, Che Yun Kim. Thank you 
항상 감사하고 사랑합니다. 데이빗 김 Um, I'd first like to start off by thanking all teachers and staff for helping us all get here. Um, 두 번째는 어머님, 아버지 저 저를 끝까지 믿어주고 저를 위해서 계속 기도해 주신 걸 진짜 감사합니다. 사랑합니다. And um, just quickly and finally, I'd like to thank God for giving me the courage to push through any hardships that I've come through and overcome any fears. Thank you. Taehyun Kim. Oh, uh, 너무 기쁘고 이 자리까지 올수 있게 도와준 어, 부모님들한테 어, 고맙다고 말하고 싶어. 그리고 먼 곳에서부터 와주신 할머니 할아버지도 감사하고 어, 이 자리에는 함께 있지 않지만 어, 보고 있을 이모랑 이모부들 이게 어, 여태까지 살면서 좋은 추억들이랑 좋은 경험들 많이 시켜준 걸 고맙고 어, 그 모든 도움에 보답하고 나중에 성공할 수 있게 할게 고마워. Here in Egim. Oh, 먼저 여기까지 찾아와 주신 저희 부모님과. 그리고 삼촌과 할머니한테 감사 인사를 드리고 그리고 어 여기 계신 않지만 어 제가 졸업하는 모습을 어디서인가 보고 계실 제 할아버지도 에게도 고맙고 사랑한다고 전하고 싶고 uh, for everyone in this ISP uh, community I would like to thank my friends and every every teacher and every everyone to Make me who is me. Yeah, thank you. Claire Gim. Jamie Last but not least, I want to thank to my teachers, especially for my subject teachers, Mr. G, Ms. Sophie, and Ms. Chan Soo. Thank you. Jung Woo Lee. Uh, 
first off, I want to thank all the staff members for supporting and helping me throughout this uh, two-year program. Uh, 그리고 이제 어, 이런 이상적인 교육에 끊임없는 지원을 해주신 부모님께 감사 말씀드리고 어, 솔직히 에, 그만두고 싶었던 적도 많았고 에, 방황도 많이 했는데 그럴 때마다 이제 에, 어머니의 눈물을 보면서 이제 평정심을 많이 찾았던 것 같습니다. 에, 그걸 또 감사하게 생각하고 있고요. 어, 그리고 어렸을 때부터 제가 가진 뭐 이상이나 꿈 이런 것들을 편견 없이 어, 지원해주고 지지해주신 거에 대해서 에, 감사 말씀 드리고 싶습니다. 어, 이제 어느 역경과 고난이 이제 저를 이제 막아서도 저는 이제 끊임없이 전진해 나가겠습니다. 에, 여러분들의 투자 에, 상한가가 아닌 텐 백어로 만들어 드리겠습니다. 사랑합니다, 아버지 어머니. 사랑한다, 동생들아. 감사합니다. Jin Hun Oh. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank all the teachers and staff member that have supported me for the two years of IB course. Um, it's been an honor to be a member of this community and the member of class of 22. I love you all, my friends. And 어머니, 아버지, 그리고 동생들 정말 2년 동안 옆에서 응원해주고 지지해주셔서 감사합니다. 어, 더 이상 이제 아침을 안 써도 되는 어머니 정말 감사하고 보이지 않는 곳에서도 언제나 노력해 주시는 아버지께 이 자리를 빌어 감사드립니다. Benjamin Rowland. Okay. In my time at the school, especially middle and high school, I've nearly been taught by every teacher in this building, but about four. And each of you has impacted me in a certain way, which has helped, become, helped me become the person I am today. And I'm very grateful for that. And I'm also very grateful for my parents and Amy for helping me get through the past many years. So thank you very much. Dean Tang. Uh, I want, first of all, I want to thank all the teachers, especially Ms. Shenstone, Mr. Roland, uh, Mr. Geisbers, Ms. Sophie, uh, um, Ms. Vaughn, Ms. GJ, and Ms. Montague, Ms. Sophie, just everyone who taught me. And it was an honor to be part of the class of 2022. Uh, and special thanks to Chunonyi uh, 어머님과 Chunonyi 어머님 되게 힘든 시기에 도와주셔서 되게 감사하고 오늘 와주신 이모 이모부 고모 어, 아버 아버지 되게 감사합니다. 어, 되게 속도 많이 써이고 했는데 그걸 성공해서 돌아오겠습니다. 그리고 어, 거기 계실지는 모르지만 어, 그, 엄마 
솔직히 엄마 때문에 나못 많이 힘들었는데 엄마 덕분에 끝낼 수 있는 것 같아. 저 사랑해. Graduates, please stand. To signify the recognition of earning your diploma, please move your tassels from the right side of your cap to the left side of your cap. It is now my absolute honour to formally introduce the graduating class of 2022. Please join with me in congratulating them. Please be seated. An ISB tradition that we began in 2011 is, uh, still continues at the completion of this ceremony where we will gather underneath the bridge outside here and the students will throw their caps into the air and we will wait until all parents are there because it makes for some wonderful photos. Just some <coughs> concluding remarks from me. To the parents. I'd like to acknowledge the important role you have played. As parents, we have the pleasure of celebrating the successes and accomplishments of our children. We also have the task of being there for them as they stumble, fall short, and take missteps as they find their way in life. The journey is long and difficult at times, but it is times like these that make us reflect and smile. Can you join with me, graduates, and everybody else in congratulating the parents? You deserve it. Well done. <clears throat> By way of a few departing words, I'm really not sure where to begin. To have been <clears throat> the principal, at, the secondary principal at ISB has been an honour and a privilege. In 2010, we had our first graduating ceremony and we had four students. And here we are today in 2022. Over the years, the number of students in grade 12 has risen and fallen with the numbers dependent on the school. To have worked with the most dedicated and hardworking staff is amazing. The students at ISB are incredibly lucky to be in an environment which is caring, safe and nurturing, and that's due to you. The response from students, that's you, has been similar. You have been hardworking, enthusiastic, supportive and genuinely interested in self-improvement. To have seen some of you over the years Come to us and leave happy is heartwarming. For me to have students enter the school in ELC in kindergarten, and there are four of you that I've known since grade one, and to follow your progress to graduation has been a wonderful aspect of me being in the school. I'll miss that. To those students who enter the school this year and in the years to come, recognise it for what it is. It is a superb school. Filled with opportunities for students to excel and move into the world with confidence and ambition. My congratulations to all students in Grade 12. You have made it 
You have worked very hard to get to this point. You have overcome obstacles that were often not initially apparent to you. You have prepared for this moment for years, and now it's here. Enjoy it. You will look back on it with fond memories, and it will seem like only yesterday. Move forward into the next phase of your lives with excitement. Be considerate of others. Look after those around you who have less than you. And above all else, as Ms Shinstone and I said, be kind. I do want to finish by saying thank you to a number of people. The graduating committee, Ms Shenstone, Mrs Vaughan, the PTA, Grade 12 mums, Ms Khalife, the maintenance team, IT services and everybody else involved in putting this service together. It is a wonderful celebration for students of Grade 12 for this year. That concludes all I have to say. Could I ask you all, students and guests, to please rise for the recessional. The students will leave first, followed by the teachers and parents and all friends here. Afternoon tea will be served around the corner here in the round and everybody is most welcome to attend, have some informal photographs. Before we actually get there though, don't forget to gather underneath the bridge here where we will have the hat toss and everyone can take some wonderful photographs. Thank you, Ms Khalifa.
Yes, as the last two members of staff are leaving, if you could join with me, everybody, in saying thank you to Mr Khalife and the orchestra for the wonderful music this afternoon. Thank you, Zara. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you would like just to move out at your leisure and gather underneath the bridge, get those cameras ready, some wonderful photos. Thank you.